Hello everyone and welcome back to the NutriSeed YouTube channel. My name's Lucy and I have been doing the NutriSeed 5-2 Club for about four and a half months now. I've lost almost a stone and a half and I'm feeling amazing. So if you don't know what the NutriSeed 5-2 Club is, it is two days a week you drink five delicious NutriSeed juices and on the other five days a week you just eat your complete normal diet. Nothing's restricted, nothing's off limits, it's amazing. I'm feeling so fantastic and it's been the easiest way I've ever lost weight and got healthy. Ever. If you want more information about that, I've popped a little video link here that you can check out later. But like I was saying, I've been doing the NutriSeed 5-2 Club and I noticed in our NutriSeed communities, people saying that they're looking for inspiration for what to eat on their non-fasting days. I've popped another video link here because we recently did a video answering frequently asked questions about the NutriSeed 5-2 Club and one of them was about the amount of calories you should be consuming on your non-fasting days. So I don't typically count my calories on my non-fasting days. I kind of just go with my gut on you know, we know when we're actually hungry and when we're just binging and, and sometimes I do have a binge and luckily the juices keep me on track with that. But today's a pretty normal day for me so I thought I'd run you through what I eat on my day. So in that video that I just talked about, we recommend for women eating about 1,700 to 2,000 calories per day on your non-fasting days. So I'm gonna run you through what I eat on a typical day today, starting with my breakfast. So let's go downstairs and make that. I start most of my days with a smoothie with some NutriSeed Total Superfoods powder in. So let's go make that. So for my smoothie, I've got the NutriSeed Total Superfoods vanilla flavor, one banana, frozen summer fruits and unsweetened almond milk and I'm just going to pop them all in my blender and blitz it all up. I'm going to start with one tablespoon of the superfoods, then 75 grams of frozen berries, one banana ripped up so it's not too big in the blender and then 200 milliliters of unsweetened almond milk. This is 210 calories and a delicious filling easy breakfast. It's now about 11 o'clock, so I am feeling a bit peckish. I'm gonna go and grab my morning snack and a coffee, so let's go and make that. For my mid-morning snack, I like to have a pink lady apple with a tablespoon of peanut butter, which is 160 calories. It's now lunch time, so I'm gonna go and make a nice warm halloumi salad because it's pretty rubbish weather outside today. Normally in summer, because it's May when I'm filming this video, and it's actually winter weather. Um, normally in summer and spring, I would like a fresher salad, but because it's a bit cold today, I'm gonna go for a warm salad. So let's go make that. So for my warm salad, I've got pumpkin seeds, a courgette, balsamic glaze, a pepper, an onion, some cherry tomatoes, some halloumi, which I'm gonna use a third of the pack, and some baby leaf spinach, which I'm also gonna use a third of the pack. To start, I'm gonna chop the, well, half the courgette and half a pepper. Then once these are chopped, I'm gonna pop them in a baking tray with a little bit of olive oil, not too much, because there's calories in that, and some salt at 200 degrees, and just keep an eye on that. Then I'm gonna chop the onion and the cherry tomatoes, and then I'm gonna pop these in a pan with a little bit of oil as well, and fry them until they're a bit soft. I'm also gonna be frying the halloumi, but that's not with any oil, that doesn't need any oil. Next, I'm going to wash the spinach. Like I said, I've got a third of the pack and I'm just going to have that raw, so that's going to be the base of my salad. Then, if your halloumi looks like this, it is finished. You can have it crispier or less crispy. And my onion and tomatoes are all finished because they're all soft and looking delicious. So I'm going to get the courgette and pepper out the oven and pop that on. Then I'm going to top that with the tomato and onion. Then on top of that, I'm going to put the halloumi and some pumpkin seeds. And I'm going to finish it off with some lovely balsamic glaze. What a delicious lunch. This is super filling. The calories do go up a bit because of the olive oil. So it is 630 calories, but this is full of goodness and so yummy. It's now the afternoon, so I'm going to grab a quick snack. For my afternoon snack, I'm having a bag of pop chips, which is only 71 calories and I'm obsessed. Now it's dinner time, I'm gonna go and make a lovely chili non carne, so like a vegetarian chili con carne with sweet potato and avocado. Let's go make it. So to make the chili non carne, I've got a pepper, avocado, the onion from earlier, a small tin of chopped tomatoes, a tin of black beans, vegetable stock cube, garlic, sweet potato, and some spices and herbs, which I will go through in a bit. Let's get cooking. 
first up I'm going to take my sweet potato and pop it in the microwave for about seven minutes till it's soft and after that I'm going to pop it in the oven just to get crispy. Now I'm chopping my onion which I'm going to fry with a little bit of olive oil um, with the garlic. I've also chopped the pepper, wow this is going really quick and I have put my stock cube in some hot water. I've then washed the beans, as you can see my onion and garlic are frying here, I'm adding some salt, some cumin, some hot chilli powder and some paprika so I'm adding all that the onion softening and the garlic and now I'm going to add in my pepper and let that soften for a little bit as well mix it all up with those spices and herbs to get lots of lovely flavor then when that's a bit soft I'm going to add my vegetable stock cube with 100 ml of water and a little 200 gram tin of chopped tomatoes this is just a portion for one by the way and then I forgot to add the beans, like how dumb, because the beans are literally the most important thing. So I start mixing and then I remember I need the beans. So I go back for the beans <laughs> and now I'm gonna add them in. And then this mixture needs to get all thick and lovely because it's gonna top your potato. So I'm just gonna mix that all in and then we're gonna leave that to simmer for probably like 20 minutes till it gets really thick and delicious. I have got half an avocado here, which I've mashed up and added a little bit of chopped onion in as well. That's gonna go on top of everything. This is 615 calories, so filling, so yum. Now after dinner, I am gonna have a yummy, really low calorie, but really naughty dessert. So let's go grab that. Okay, dessert, here we go. If you don't know about fiber one bars, get to know. Salted caramel drizzle square, only 82 calories. Ben and Jerry low calorie game changer. I'm gonna put the fiber one bar in the microwave for 30 seconds. So it goes like a lovely cookie dough with some ice cream. It's only 197 calories and the best. That is what I eat in a day. I hope you all really enjoyed it and got some inspiration from it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I don't normally count my calories, but I just thought it'd be useful today to show you kind of what these meals are calorie wise and what that adds up to throughout the day and that you can eat literally three meals and three snacks and still be totally within your your good calorie range but with our 5-2 club like I said the five days is just about eating your normal diet within reason and the two days juicing I just cannot rave highly enough about it I like I said I've lost a stone and a half I'm feeling fantastic and it's been so easy I don't feel restricted at all or like I'm on a diet I just feel like I have two days where I give my body a break and a nice cleanse two non-consecutive days I forgot to say that and then five days where I just eat my normal diet it's amazing so i hope you've really enjoyed today's video let us know in the comments if you've got any questions or if you wanted to organize a call with a nutriseed expert we'll get back to you and thank you so much for being here we love having you on our channel and we look forward to seeing you in the next video bye